Hi, I'm Juan from Draufsicht and I'm concerned about how dependent we are from oil. This is a story about oysters. A blanket of crude oil is poured directly on the water. It's the 1950s. Someone dared to claim that oysters were being affected by oil extraction, so the oil industry kindly produced some propaganda to clear out any possible concern there could be. Every possibility was explored. After years of study and progress, the results were in. The test oysters were so happy, they never had it so good. I know someone else who never had it so good. Humans. I got a million ways to get it. Choose one. Choose one. The next one. We have self-driving cars and airplanes and high-speed connections and plastic thumbs to scroll down our smartphone screens. But at the same time we thrive in a world that seems to be falling apart. We are killing great and talented men and women in Afghanistan in Iraq. In times like these, it's important that we are able to question the ways we've been doing things. To question the whole foundation of our civilization. <laughs> Fuck. Oil is the blood running through the veins of our civilization. Every aspect of our lives is conditioned by our dependence on oil. The energy we use, the transportation, the transportation of the goods we are using, and even the plastics that are all over our lives and uh, somehow plastics are still a very cheap thing to have. It grows. But we're running out of petroleum. The same as addicts, we know that we have to change our ways. But like addicts, we are all looking for a, an excuse or a pretext. We are looking in the drawers, looking for the last stash we have left. In the deepest, deepest caves, we have a lot of excuses to hold on to the shit. And one of the reasons that we are so dependent on oil is that, well, it's kind of comfortable. Baby demands comfort, all right. And if he doesn't get it, a formal protest is soon registered. Who would think From the side products of the production of gasoline for cars, there was a massive industry built that gave lots of jobs and, of course, Tupperware parties. Things are really popping. Yes, there's a party going on at Mrs. Betty Martin's house. It's a Tupperware party, and it's really fun. <laughs> this post-war U.S. American oil-thirsty culture was the role model of generations and generations of viewers all around the world. Everyone wanted to be in those dreamy images and build their aspirations around them. All that dancing, all that singing, all that fashion. Uh, and of course, the whiter the better. For smooth white hands, use angel skin. So what we do with the anal bleaching is that... <laughs> At a go-go fry, everyone can afford. Wait, what? Hmm. That's trouble. is two miles straight down. Petroleum is a non-renewable resource. Furthermore, the need to satisfy the demand of the US alone has been a pain in the ass for the whole world in the last few years. By the 1970s, it was becoming clear for the US that their own oil supplies were running really low. Curiously, it was around that time that they started getting into deep shit in the Middle East. And now, well, we're enjoying the consequences. A big question is if it's possible to keep this progress parade and not consume all the oil on the earth, polluting the atmosphere and heating the planet and poisoning rivers and literally smoking ourselves to death. Also, the people living around exploitation areas can have a hard time with irresponsible companies. Kapande used to rely on the delta for his livelihood. His fish farm was destroyed by two major spills. Shell have been here over 50 years. There is no infrastructure from them. But in 2008 and 2009, there was two massive oil spills. 
could destroy the life livelihood of Bodo people. Well, if it wasn't for us, they wouldn't have any jobs. You know, these lazy African people, they need us. No, really. We have to change this. We have to change this old dependence. They want to frag the shit out of my country. If you want to know more about this, please like us, subscribe to our channel, and wait for our new video about the extractivism in Latin America. Thank you for watching, and till next time.